Hey everybody, Molly O'Dell here in beautiful sunny San Diego. I got invited out by Jessica Masias and Kyle Whistle of the Whistle Team to Savita, the new master plan community here in Mission Valley. This place is amazing and I'm excited to learn about everything happening here. All right, you guys, we are in beautiful Mission Valley today. Kyle, thank you so much for having us out here today. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. So let's talk about the market. What's happening out here? Market is insane right now. I've done this for 17 years now, and this is probably the hottest market I've ever seen in 17 years. Homes are selling within days of hitting the market. There's a huge shortage of supply of homes right now. Um, it's just an amazing time. A lot of opportunities out there. Okay, so that brings us to our topic. Yes. New home growth. New home growth is huge. Uh, with all the limited inventory that we have, Having the new home sales is just jumped like crazy around San Diego. It's one of the best ways to get new inventory and get yourself into a property in San Diego. Okay, Jessica, so we are at your your ex area of expertise. Yes. <laughs> Mission Valley, we're in the Savita community. Uh-huh. And tell us a little bit about what's happening out here. Savita, it's, it's an awesome new community that they've been building over the last few years. The biggest pull here is its energy efficiency and its low carbon footprint. Oh, wow. So you've got, obviously, the mixed use. You've got apartments on one side and then home ownership on the other. Uh, solar power, vehicle charging stations, fiber internet. It's fantastic, everything they have here for the community itself. That's huge. So for home ownership opportunities in Mission Valley, it's really, there's not that many out there. No, especially for homes itself. A lot of it's just condos, you know, two bedrooms, small little places in mid-rises, where here you've got multi-level townhomes, you've got single uh, de single family detached homes. It's it's awesome. Okay, let's talk. Let's. So we are at Savita Park right now. Yes. We're at their temporary park though. Yeah. So right next to us is their Savita Park that's that they're working on finishing up right now. It's going to be in a huge expansive area you're gonna have several areas to sit down sculptures throughout they've actually got a couple famous sculptors that have come in and built this actually cute little story around bunnies Aww. So <laughs> this used to be a quarry for gravel and whatnot and uh, bunnies inhabited here so this these developed these sculptors have 27 bunnies they're gonna hide along the creek and you can start at the bronze storybook and go through and find them throughout the the park and That's kind of follow along with the story. It's kind of a cool little. <laughs> okay, so with the park that big though, I mean, and this kind of community, they have to be doing events. Yeah, so they do a lot of events throughout the year. They've got Arbor Day celebration every year. It's huge, you know, with all the green, um, ways they've living here that's huge on the environment uh, they've got movie nights at the park they've got easter egg hunts they do trick-or-treating events during the halloween they do all kinds of stuff that's amazing so yeah. this is like a i mean i think when people think of mission valley they're thinking of like the young professional kind of single Absolutely. this is like truly a family community as well yeah yeah it's it fits families it fits single people who don't want to deal with families <laughs> if you're just a millennial who wants to be in a cool hip environment you've got the trolley just a short ways away tons of restaurants they're going to be building building a bunch of office buildings and retail space here. They're gonna have oh, the wow. movies, they're gonna have restaurants, they're gonna have shops, and they're gonna have office space as well. So a lot of development in the future. So it's all from walking distance from all these homes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be its own like little sub community area within San Diego. That's gonna be really awesome. <laughs> I think it needs its own zip code over here. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. One thing that I'm learning. Okay, so let's start at the bottom. Let's kind of work our way up. Okay. Price range, what are the communities over here? So entry level is right in the low 600s and you're gonna be around the origin community and then as you go up the hill it gets upwards up to 850,000. Uh, the communities are origin, you've got Lucent, you've got Lucent 2 that they're finishing, you've got Altana, Frame and Focus, and Apex. And Apex, those are the ones at the top of the hill. Those are the ones at the top of the hill and they're going to start in the mid 800 range. And they are single, are these all single family homes? Or I'm trying to get a better understanding about what that's Sure, about. so uh, you've got Origin, Frame and Focus, and Lucent are all townhome styles. So they're multi-levels, some are two story, some go up to four stories, just depending on the floor plan that you're in. And then you've got Altana and Apex that are single detached homes, although they're, they're so close together, but they are detached. Okay, so all these communities, so we're talking about the attached homes. Yes. And then the detached homes are, which ones? Um, you've got Apex and you have Altana. So Altana was the first detached community and there's only a small amount of homes I want to say 30 or 40 in there and then you've got apex at the very top of the hill so they've got views some of them are five bedrooms three bathrooms massive properties That's huge. yeah it's awesome 
That's amazing. And so all these communities get to use all this great stuff happening over here. Yeah. So Savita Park is open to the public, but then they've also got their master community that they're finishing up right now building. And it's going to have a huge recreation center, a lagoon pool, lap, uh, lap pool, gym that's going to have indoor outdoor space. They'll have spin class, yoga class. Uh, you can have the community center itself has a kitchen for catering if you want to do events, all kinds of stuff. Kyle, what's your favorite thing to do in Mission Valley? Mission Valley, it's all the different restaurants around here that's my favorite part go shopping over at Fashion Valley hit up true food kitchen I love it <laughs> so definitely I think Mission Valley is bringing a whole entire new crowd yeah adding some new homes on the market which I know we're all in desperate need of absolutely so if anybody is wondering you know this is the place to be in Mission Valley, right? Yeah, definitely the place to be. It's the place it's to be in San Diego. In yeah. San Diego? <laughs> so you think that Savita put San Diego, it's putting one step it up? It does. It's like an alternative to downtown San Diego because it's so hustle and bustle down there. It's very similar because you're going to have all the shops and restaurants that you have in downtown, but it's not, you know, 30, 40 story buildings. So it's a little bit more spread out. And there's the whole ecosystem with apartments to townhomes to single family homes. So it's going to have its whole ecosystem where people yeah. can, you know, start here when they're young and single all the way up to when they have a family. I think this is great, and I'm so excited to be introduced to this wonderful area. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us out here today. Thank you. And Kyle, thank you always for being so much fun on camera. That's how we roll. <laughs>